Hi, I'm Kwame Onwachi, and this is everything I eat in a day. So the first thing I do when I wake up is usually get a glass of water. Usually have like a cup of water next to my bed stand. I'll just drink that before I head downstairs to the kitchen. After I have my glass of water, I'll meditate. I'll do some stretching and then I'll do like 30 minutes of cardio on the treadmill. Just getting my mind right, I'll play meditation music and just spend some time with myself. I'm not really a breakfast person. If I am really hungry, it's normally leftovers. I'll heat up some leftovers. It could be anything from like, chicken wings and pork fried rice. It can be Mexican food. But if I am gonna cook, it's just like scrambled eggs and, and bacon. I'm a traditionalist when it comes to, to breakfast if I'm making it. If I'm eating it, it's whatever's in front of me. No! So I am a coffee drinker and I drink it for fuel. So I drink an espresso. Normally it's a quadruple shot espresso. I'll even pour a little bit of water or oat milk in it. Uh, just to cool it down so I can drink it fast enough. I think coffee is absolutely disgusting. I don't I don't like the taste of it at all. So I'll dilute it with anything just to just to chug it down really quickly. There is no typical lunch for me. It could be anything from sushi to a cheeseburger, chicken breast and vegetables with some starch. You know, it's whatever I crave really is what I eat. I can be a big snacker, but it's Normally Sour Patch Watermelon, uh, Pink Starburst, only the pink flavor. There's these things called Power Curls. It's like these protein version of like Cheetos almost. And then there's these truffled almonds from Trader Joe's that are amazing. Typical dinner, it could be anything. A seared piece of steak, it could be Ethiopian cuisine. It can be, you know, oxtails from Jamaica. I'm more of a craving type of person. So there's no, there's no like regimen. It's, it's what I'm craving. That's what I have to eat. I'm not really a dessert person, honestly. It's just ice cream, if anything, just a scoop of ice cream. Jenny's ice cream. Jenny's is it for me for ice cream. It's just solid. It's just, it's so creamy. I love the Brambleberry Crisp. They have this everything bagel ice cream flavor that is surprisingly delicious. I have like six flavors downstairs right now in my freezer and I'll have a spoonful uh, every night. I don't like bitter flavors. So frise, radicchio, broccolini, coffee, bitter melon. I don't like bitter flavors at all, so I try to just stay away from them at all costs. Worst. I gotta always have some sort of chilies, some citrus, garlic, thyme. Those are the things that I, that I have to have at all times. Yeah. Whew, that's the tough, this, this is where the fighting happens. Uh, my favorite food city's gotta be New York City. It has everything you need. There's so many different restaurants. You don't even have to go to the same restaurant again. Whatever food you want, whatever flavor you're going for, there's something there for you in New York City. My go-to comfort meal is chicken wings and pork fried rice from the Chinese shop. It's timeless. It just reminds me of home. You know, we have a lot of these Chinese takeout spots in New York City in all the boroughs. So it's something that if I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling really happy, that's the dish that I always have to have. Well, I can't talk about the food on Top Chef, we know that. Good try, good try. But I think just the, the diversity that was there, it was something that I haven't seen before. You know, having chefs that, that had concentrations in Caribbean cuisine or African cuisine or, or Haitian, I hope it, it, that's a trend and we're trending up. And that's everything I eat in a day. So uh, be sure to check out my book, Notes from a Young Black Chef. It's just uh, been adapted for a young adult version. So now there's an opportunity for everyone to read it. Thank you for signing in.